Hello everyone. Today we will discuss about the disjoint set data structure. So let's start. So first we consider an array based implementation. The parent is an array. So every cell will contain the representative of the set of the corresponding element. So initially every set consists of only one element. So the representative of set 1 is 1, the representative of set 2 is 2 and similarly the representative of set 12 is 12. Now let's perform an union operation. Then the set 5 and 11 will be merged into a single set. So the representative will be changed, the representative will be 5 or 11. Let us consider 5 as the representative of this set. So when we perform the union operation, we need to set 5 as the representative of both of the elements. So we need to change the representative of this element. So we set 5 as the representative of 11. Let's perform another union operation. So when we merge 1 and 5, 1, 5 and 11 will become the member of the same set. So now we need to change the representative of all three elements. So now we set 1 as the representative and we set 1 as the representative of all the members of this set. So look carefully when we are asked to perform the union operation between two elements, we need to change the representative of these elements as well as the other elements of this set. So we change the representative of 5 and also we have changed the representative of 11. So if we need to change the representative of 5 then we must change the representative of 11. So when we perform the union operation between 1 and 5 we iterate through this array change the representative to 1 if it is 5. So we may use a loop like this. And if we see that the parent is 5, then we will replace it with 1. If the parent is 5, then we will replace it with 1. So if parent of k is equals 5 then we will replace it with 1 then parent of k equals 1 so if we represent 1 with i and 5 with j then the union operation can be written like this So for union ij, the 5 will be replaced with j and 1 will be replaced with i. But it's clear that the find operation is very easy. If we want to find the representative of element e, let's look at the array. Twelve belongs to the set represented by twelve. Eleven belongs to the set represented by five. So if we need to know the representative of any element, we just need to return the parent of that element. So we can write return parent of E.
so this is a constant time operation that's why we have called this approach as quick find approach this is the pseudocode for union and this is the pseudocode for finding the representative of a set so the time complexity for union operation is big of n for n elements and the find operation is very quick the corresponding time complexity is big of 1 so if you need to perform u union operations and f find operations then the time complexity is big of u n plus f so in the worst case if we need to perform n minus 1 union operations then the complexity is going to be big of n square since it's not linear time we can look for some better approach <laughs> 